A Stanford scientist hopes laptop computers will provide the key to detecting earthquakes moments before they happen. Tui Vu shows us how it would work and how you can take part in that project. When an earthquake hits, there's only one reliable way right now to determine its location and strength. That's through a seismometer. But Stanford researchers are working on detecting quakes using technology that's right at your fingertips, your computer. You'd see some stronger motions like this. Is that on the yellow part here? So that's on all of these different motions. The key is an accelerometer chip that's already inside every laptop. If you drop the laptop, the chip senses movement and protects the hard drive before it hits the ground. We need to develop the software, and we've done that to access these accelerometers. Then we need to broadcast that information over the internet to our server. If thousands of laptops are connected to the so-called quake catcher network, and a lot of them detect vibrations at the same time, it's likely to be an earthquake. The system could then issue warnings, giving people at least several seconds notice before the quake waves reach them. If you have automatic systems, you can start to slow down trains, uh, stop the elevator at the next floor, uh, things that could really help save lives. Currently, there are 600 laptops around the world linked to the system, and researchers will soon ship out 1,100 USB cables with the chip on them for desktop computers at schools and fire stations. The researchers are looking for people who would be willing to have their laptop linked up. Would you be interested in that? Oh, of course. No, no problem. I think, I think you'd find wide uh, uh, willingness and acceptance uh, of an idea like this. Right now, the Quake Catcher software only works on Macintosh and ThinkPad laptops, but they're also developing software for HP and Dell computers as well. At Stanford University, Tui Vu, CBS5. And if you want to link your laptop to the Quake Catcher network, go to cbs5.com, click on Earthquakes.